Hey everybody, it's NickyV97 here, and this is part 27 of my walkthrough on Pokemon Coliseum. In this part, we're going to take on the fourth boss in the game, Dacum. Who kind of looks like he should be in an exercise video alongside Billy Banks and that gazelle guy. Either that or... Yeah, I, that's pretty much the only thing I can think of that he would actually be good in, except maybe a martial arts epic. A B-grade martial arts epic at that, but still, you get my point. Anyway, I, I missed the last thing, so anyway, let's go. <laughs> this is what happens to stubborn oafs who don't do as I say! PUNCH! You treacherous why How could you refuse to battle? Ugh. Duh, treacherous. Did you really think that a worm like you could win? All you had to do was hand over the time flu without making a fuss. It's your own fault for getting hurt. Since you're not cooperating, you, I have no choice but to haul you off to Ian's lab. Hiya. Hmm? Who are you? What, what are my underlings doing? That outfit of yours. You must be the troublemaker who messed with Scrub in Celebi's forest. And now you come to mess with the, me, the great Dacum? Don't make me laugh! I'll pound a lesson to you with, into your flesh and bones so you'll never even think of bothering me again. Oh boy. Here it is. This is what some consider to be the first big boss of the game. Cypher Admin Dacum. Although, what exactly he did to become an actual admin and is an exercise for the viewer, but still. Anyway. Send out Umbreon and Espeon. My two lowest level Pokemon. Kind of ironic when you think about it, seeing as how they were my very first ones. Uh, let's try Bite on Metang. Not sure how well that's going to No, that's not going to work at all. Oh, well, it might. I'm not sure. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, I remember this. This guy has the fun little habit of using the Protect Earthquake combo. Basically, it goes like this The partner uses Protect, then the Metang uses Earthquake. It hits the two Pokemon on the other side while making sure that his. Uh, well, making sure that the partner remains undamaged. And basically, I think almost all of his Pokemon short of Entei know this combo. Oh, I'm sorry, did I spoil something just then? Yeah, this guy has mother frickin' Entei! I'm pretty sure that that wasn't that big of a spoiler, considering that Ed I just said that uh, Dacum is the first really big boss of the game, and... On top of that, um, Ent Entei is on the cover of the game. He's not He's not there alongside uh, the two uh, big ones, Espeon and Umbreon, but he's still there. Alright, camera up came confused. This could help. Yes! Excellent. Alright, uh, let's go for a surf. That's gonna get rid of a whole lot of my problems. And a reflect, seeing as how I can't really do anything to that Metang. And that camera up is about to go down anyway, so there's really no point in attacking it. But yeah, I think pretty much every single one of his Pokemon, short of Entei, as I said, know both Protect and Earthquake. And they also know some pretty, pretty damn good moves of their own. Seeing as how, um, like, Camera Up knows Flamethrower and Metang knows Psychic. Uh, just to make sure we get rid of that Metang, let's get Koala in there. This is not looking good. I haven't even defeated a single one of his Pokemon, and he already has me down to five. Alright, and Camera Up is dead. That wasn't that hard. Take down the camera up. Alright, next up is going to be Marsh Tomp. I don't think I have a grass type. I don't. So Marsh Tomp might be a little bit tricky. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use Flame Wheel on Metang and then as soon as Metang is down, I'm getting uh, 
what's his face? I'm getting Quilava the heck out of there because Marsh Tomp can do some pretty severe damage to Quilava. And Umbreon's up a level, that's nice. And then Golem. It shouldn't be too hard to take him out, seeing as how um, Quagsire still has a... Uh, Wow, killed with a mud shot. I feel terrible now. But yeah. Quagsire has a surf coming up, so. Let's go ahead and get Noctowl ready for action. Because this surf is about to take down that golem. What? That's that's a little shocking, I'll admit. But um just to get him out of there, let's use Steel Wing on Golem. That should be plenty enough to Yep, there it goes. Even though his special is not or his physical attack isn't that great, and it's non stabbed, it was enough to take down that golem with a special effective, so thankfully. And finally, here comes the big bad mofo of this match, Entei who is, as I've already mentioned, a shadow. So, yeah, they've gotten pretty good at their craft if they're making shadow freaking Entei. And as a shocker to absolutely nobody at this point, if they've got shadow Entei, you can bet your bottom dollar that they have both shadow Raikou and shadow Suicune. I mean, look at that. Did you see how little damage um, that Surf just did? Anyway, let's use Hypnosis on Entei. Oh boy, here comes where things get bad. Oh, huh, well, Noctowl took that one like a champ. Oh, as well as you could possibly expect. But anyway, let's put Entei to sleep. I actually don't know why I haven't put in Ampharos yet. I guess... Well, Quagsire's doing a pretty good job of whittling down Entei's HP with Surf. I mean, look at that, that's going to be a perfect move. Alright, now is the time to switch out Noctowl to Ampharos. There's a plan that I actually have in here somewhere, but I honestly don't think that it's... Like, I, I haven't planned any of this out in advance. This is pretty much on the fly. Good, and Tay's still fast asleep. And thankfully it didn't use Mud Shot on um, Ampharos. That would have been kind of a crappy way to enter the arena. How did Entei avoid that attack? Really? Oh well, that'll work. A Reflect War Off. That's why Noctowl was able to handle that Surf like, or that Fire Blast like a champ. Anyway, let's Thunder Wave uh, Entei. How does it keep doing that? It is a wall of water coming at your face. How does it do that? All right, well, Entei is still fast asleep. So, Thunder Wave's not going to work. Now I'm worried. I'm gonna use I'm gonna start using mud shot because there is no effing way that I am going to actually use uh surf and risk killing it. Woo! That was a little bit more effective than I'd hoped. But hey, I got the speed drop, which is quite nice. Now let's start chucking ultra balls. I only have four. Joy to me. This is not going to be good. But anyway, we'll so also keep using Th Thunder Wave just in case Entei does wake up. Which by now it's pretty much... It's kind of long... It's kind of overdue for it. And there it is. Entei use Fire Blast. Oh boy. And it smartly used it against not Quagsire. So, well done. 
But this should probably hurt it pretty m well. Um, what can I, what else can I do? Uh, there's nothing that I can really do with Quagsire, so I guess I'll just use him to keep throwing Ultra Balls. With Ampharos, there's nothing else I can really do either. I don't want to risk Thundershock. So, do I have any revives? Wow, I have no revives. Kind of surprising. But, um... Shoot, do I have any super potions? I have no super potions! I came into this battle so well prepared, didn't I? Didn't want to have to use up that hyper potion, but oh well. Alright, let's try Ultra Ball number two. What are we at on time? Just don't, under 11 minutes without the intro. Holy crap! I caught Entei on the second try! And for those of you wondering, I don't think I'm going to use him on my team since I already have a, have a solid Fire-type in Typhlosion coming. Gah, you meddlesome pest! Huh. That actually went much better than I had than I w could have hoped for. The way you handled those Pokemons with your audacious skills. Who are you? Hey, there's Scrub. And somebody else. Master Dacum. Ah, Scrub. You were hopelessly outclassed against him. You had zero chance of winning. I'm pulling out for now. You go to Ian's lab and help out there. As you wish, sir. Was that girl really necessary? This isn't over yet. Stronger Pokemon are being made even now. You better get serious about your training training your Pokemon for our next meeting. Ta ha ha! Whoa, how did he do that? He is a freaking ninja! Holy crap! Oh, and he dropped something? An F disc. Huh, wonder what that goes to. Well, we'll find out in the next part, since we're kinda of running low on time. In the next part we're gonna to talk to that guy who's unconscious over there on that kind of precariously narrow bridge. So, uh, yeah, this has been NickyV97 saying thanks for watching and stay tuned for part 28 on my walkthrough on Pokemon Coliseum. I will see you next time.